Hello everyone, TJ Schneemann again. Today we're going to do a tutorial on a diamond, 14 karat diamond yellow gold pennant, one like this. We're going to do this uh, with a channel set, two row channel set diamonds curving around and actually fold down under itself, forming a bale on the top to receive a 6 or 8 millimeter omega slide chain or omega chain, and this will be the slide. The chain will lace through right there on top. Um, I'm going to start by um, inserting this as a bitmap image onto our three-dimensional uh, plane, on our uh, construction plane right there. And then I will in, uh, um, get us our diamond sizes uh, because it's kind of hard to figure out what exactly what scale we're going to do this at before we haven't got our diamonds placed. So what I'm going to do is um, import my bitmap image first. Let's minimize this one. And we go to, let's escape out of this one. We go to background, bitmap, enter, uh, we place, we do sketch one in the middle. And for now, let's just do about uh, 10 of these words for now. That's good. Uh, right now it's in oh, grayscale. That's a color. We're going to keep it in grayscale just because we will see our um, construction lines and curves in color much better on the black and white. Okay, I'm going to import our stones and from there on uh, we'll get a better idea of scale. Okay, I have imported five stones, five diamonds for us, so let's place these and um, see where we're going to be at. That's the first one and we're going to be working with them right over there somewhere that's going to be the first position of the biggest one it's probably about a 3. Point, let me see 3.6 millimeter and the smallest one which is this one is going to sit somewhere around there well actually that's only a four size so let's use this one four so it seems like our channels is almost right on that one there and this one will be the second one in uh, this will be the third one in. This one needs to move down. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yes, yeah, see where we're at. Okay, first one, second one, uh, third one, and the last one will be somewhere right there. That's good for now. Um, this is the fifth, the one with the five of them. See, this gap getting is getting a little small, so we're gonna have to enlarge that channel just a tad on the bottom. This is the stones, uh, these diamonds is ones from the customers uh, or a customer um, property so we, I, I'm kind of um, bounded by the size of these diamonds. I cannot, sometimes I swap them out but for now I have to make use with what I have. So let's copy this one, actually let's do that one, that one and that one. Edit, copy, edit and let's move that whole caboodle down there. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's go down right there. Now, this one I have to move even further down. So, uh, well that's too much. So, somewhere there. Okay, now, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to make an adjustment because this one is pretty big. Um, what I'm going to have to do is either move these up a little bit or I have to totally change my channel configuration to accommodate this bottom diamond. Nonetheless, uh, like I said, this is what I have to work with, so we're going to have to work around that. Um, so let me see what I can do. I think I'm going to... That makes it really hard, especially to look aesthetically good. Um, I need a little more taper in this bottom channel to bring this curve down. Um, what I will do in this case I will exchange this diamond for two other diamonds of the same size of the same weight actually to get a better curve flowing down so what we will do is um, take this one and size that to the one I need probably that size or even smaller and Let's move that down. See, that's going to work better. See, it's so aesthetically, it already looks a lot better. Okay, actually even bigger or smaller. Okay, edit copy. 
edit paste and let's move that up again and make this one bigger there so let's move that back in place and now this one actually needs to be scaled even smaller to take our curve and let's move that one back in place somewhere there now we have a little better flow of curvature let's scoot this one up let's zoom in here um, this one's good that one's good this one's good this one's good that one scoot up a little this one scoot up a little that one that one that one that one this one this one this one this one this one this one okay that looks good so what I'm gonna have to do tell the customer that I'm gonna have to swap one of these for the similar weight size with two of them okay and this is our configuration as far as diamonds so what we're gonna do now start with a curvature so in this case I'm going to start with one two three four five six curves eventually going to be blended down into one curve and flowing up to the top Let okay I've been rethinking this uh, approach what we're going to do is use two curves one to the left going under the channel around to the top falling over the other one on this side forming our uh, channels so what we'll do afterwards we'll do this as a solid and then boolean difference cut with a boolean difference cut out these two channels for the diamonds the only thing is that boolean differences doesn't like curves too much so if that's not going to work we have to change our approach a little bit so let's start with a curve um, let me escape there yeah we wrong command okay um, let's start there a little more control points where it's nice and sharp one day 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 and one there okay that's one curve we'll do one more starting why do I keep doing that okay one day one day one day going under the channels one day one day need to put a few more in on that sharp curve one there one there good now you can see it's kind of a mess we don't see that very well um, because of your background bitmap so let me uh, just um, unvisible that and see okay see our curve doesn't look very good so what we're gonna do we're gonna start with this one you pan this down escape from that command okay F 10 control points on this is getting a little hard to see so what I'm gonna do is just use uh, change the color of this layer to a bright yellow and see somewhere maybe that one see that's oh that's much better okay so let's start with this control points let's start with this is very confusing um, this one and we start stretching these out um, just to follow to follow our pennant somewhere there somewhere there somewhere there um, you have to be careful not to get confused with all these control points because a lot of times you grab especially when you cross over like this you grab the the wrong control control point and you adjust the the arc of a, of a wrong line okay so trying to follow the black as close as possible yet I still have to optically balance the whole piece <coughs> give it a nice curvature okay that one's good for now what I'm gonna do is to switch actually that one off and go to the next one let's do this one so I don't mess up the points this one comes down a little bit pull this one out that one is good pull this one in I think I have the right one here that one there that one there and 
this one there. Where are we now? This one probably there. Where is that one? Put that one there. Okay, <coughs> this one there. I think we're very close to where we want to be. Looks good. Now, <coughs> the only thing is over here, I don't have much gap. You see the yellow line and the white line. So what I need to do is to relax that one a little bit and pull this, give it a little more body to give a little more strength where my gold is passing my diamond. I need a little more body there because especially when you have a channel so you don't cut right into your channel and lose strength or even, even cut through the piece itself. Let me give it a little more. But now, see the bulge we're getting here? I don't like that either. So somewhere here we have to compromise. Uh, let's go back with this one and what we can do is take this diamond and Scoot that down just a tad. Where are we? Okay, somewhere there. That's good. Okay, I'm happy with the shape. Optically, it balance, and we might have to go back, switch this off, do this one again, and pull this control point just a little more out, give it a little more of a bulge, and this one a little more in. Okay, that's very close and almost exactly where I want to be at. Now, right now, if you go to our perspective, it is only on a two-dimensional plane. With my diamonds on my construction plane. Um, <coughs> what I'm going to do now is to start raising my curves First of all, I will start with um, <coughs> with my channel curves here. I will raise these up to get my height, and then finally follow out underneath underneath these channels to form my bail on top. I took a little coffee break, and as I was looking at these diamonds, um, I actually exchanged this last fourth one. Um, which was a about a 3.25 millimeter. Um, I am going to change and swap this one out for three small ones, so we have a better graduation in size. It and optically, it just looks so much better now. So I have to consult with my customer on that one. Um, but so far, it looks much better, and I am much more happier with this design. Okay, so let's uh, go on. Um, this is our perspective plane, and we're going to start by raising those uh, control points for, um, now it's even more confusing. Um, we're going to start raising these control points for our bale to get the height of our bale to form our chain. Now this is a side view, so our chain is going to fit right in there somewhere. So that one needs to go up. Oops, uh, right there. These two need to go up, probably somewhere around there. Um, now this one it's going to fold over that point right there. So let's get that one and pull that one up to there somewhere. Actually even higher. It's kind of confusing right now. But that is the, the art of drawing in three dimensions. You have to really keep track of what you're doing. So that one looks good. So let's grab that. Oops, wrong point. And sometimes it's hard to get these points. You know what, let's hide that control to get to that point. And that one we can pull up a little bit. Okay, so we are right there now. Well, we're running out of time on this one. So I will see you in uh, part number two of this pennant tutorial where we'll